A rural Texas school district has made a decision that appears to be the first of its kind in the country. Teachers are now permitted to carry guns. Harold, Texas is located near the border with Oklahoma. Joining us is the district superintendent, David Thweet, and Gail Fallon, president of the Houston Federation of Teachers, is also with us this morning. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Mr. Sweet, let me Good start morning, with Harry. you. What made you decide to try and get this passed through your, your school board, and why did you think this was a good idea? Well, Harry, we're looking at all of the issues surrounding school violence, anything starting with Columbine all the way up to the Pennsylvania shootings. And we started looking at state-of-the-art security, which we installed. And then we found that that was not w good enough because we had a problem with being next to a 287 uh, road north of us. And we're right 500, mile, uh, 500 feet off of that particular mm. road. And then in, on top of that, we're about 30 minutes from law enforcement. And we started asking hard questions. What's going to happen when we get an active shooter into our school? Yeah. And that's the reason we decided to go in this direction. Let, let me ask you this. Are the weapons of the teachers, are they concealed? Are they holstered? How, how are they carried in the school? Yeah, there's several components of this. They are concealed. Uh, they do have uh, to be approved by our school board, mm -hmm. and then they have to undergo extensive safety training and other training in hostage situations, et cetera, okay. before we've installed this. All right, Gail, when you heard about this, what was your reaction? Uh, initially, I thought it was a joke. However, uh, after a couple of media calls, we realized that it wasn't, mm -hmm. and we were asked would our district consider it, and it was absolutely no way would we consider it. Well, one of the things that, that hit me is, you know, Columbine and the other incidents were generally initiated by students. Now, I've been around teachers a long time. They don't have it in them to aim at a student and kill him. They'll freeze. Mm -hmm. And, 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 uh, Mr. and nor Th would I want them to. Right. Mr. Thweet, oh, I guess when looking at this, and I want to be as serious as possible, what kinds of scenario are you imagining that your teachers might be called in to actually use these arms? Or do you just think perhaps p folks knowing that they have arms in the school may be a preventative measure in and of itself? I think it would, Harry. And uh, because any time we've looked at these school shootings, they've occurred after we've designated schools across the nation as gun-free zones. Mm. The people who are going into these situations are evil. I'm not, I'm not going to be politically correct on this. Uh, I don't care what their problems were. They've gone in and have killed children. Mm -hmm. And if they come into our school, they are going to meet resistance. And I think if we did have some resistance in our schools, right. these crackpots or whoever they are would, cut, would stop going into them. All right, Ms. Fallon, real quickly, just if someone, if you woke up tomorrow and found out that Houston were going to allow uh, teachers to carry guns in the schools, what would you do? Uh, we would elect a new school board immediately. I, I think what's going to happen, there's, there is a loophole in the law that's allowed this, but our legislature meets in January, and the legislators mm. I've talked to have said they're plugging that loophole. All right. We've got to go for now. David Tweet and Gail Fallon, thanks very much for your time this morning. I do appreciate it.